And guys, we're back. The Fred's 32, back with the Nozumi Man walkthrough, and time to deal with Dr. Gyoku. He is the Dr. Wily of this game. And he lives in an apartment. I hope they make a sequel of this, because this is a very fun game overall. You can turn the volume up. And this game has pretty epic music. And one knows about the weapon pickups. Um, the weapon pickups, they will fill up whatever needs the most energy. So, you don't have to be selected on that item in order for it to fill up. So, yeah. It's a built in energy balancer from Mega Man 5. Uh, wait for the platform, and for a second I thought I'd miss that. Now, those cans that... Those cans I shoot in wave paths, they remind me of the Medusa heads, and I hate Medusa heads. I also hate bats. All of which are from Akuma and Setsu for those who did not see my walkthrough or perfect runs. I recommend seeing my perfect runs because they're a lot higher quality. Also, I was using Hypercam, and for the walkthrough, I was using Bandicam, which made it a lot lower quality. I don't think you can actually. I don't think you can actually kill those flowers at all. And I've tried jumping here several times. It is not possible to make that jump without the use of the ice lance. Now, this next boss, it's like an octopus thing. I honestly forget what his weaknesses, but I'm just going with an educated guess. You cannot actually hurt him until his tentacles are completely out of the way. And then you are free to hit him. And, much like the boss, much like the Wily bosses in Mega Man 2 and 3, they have absolutely no invincibility phases. So you can just spam the weapon as much as you want, and it'll just hit them completely. Gonna save. Now it's time for Gyoku 2. I don't think I'll get to th stages 3 and 4 today, and I don't think I'll be able to complete this walkthrough by Saturday, because I've been a little busy. The only weapon we need to fill up is the... is the Dragon Cluster. I forgot... I forgot what that weapon was called for a second. Now, let me test this. Yes, it gets rid of them. But... <laughs> I have to get rid of it. I will have to recharge that layer. I do, I do not recommend shooting that thing until the until the first wave of shots goes by and to make sure not to land on the spikes like I just did there if you want that S tank up there it is possible I've done it at least once you're going to have to do really good you're going to have to have really good timing I have no idea why I'm doing that because I'm going to be recharging this anyway I could just switch to the ice lance now this set of shots. It is a bit tricky to get by. It is possible to get through unscathed, though. You can have multiple of these things on the screen, thank god. You don't want to abuse that weapon, though, since it's 
since it's a utility. Eesh. I would not recommend doing what I just did. That is just extremely risky. I'm pretty sure some of you heard me mashing the button. Now, this next boss, it has multiple weaknesses. I don't know the weaknesses to all three of them, but I at least know the weakness to one of them. And there's no real easy way to find out, since once you hit one of the heads of this of this dango treat, ah, that one was weak to the ice lance, so I'm going to hit him again. I don't know what weaknesses these have. I might update it whenever I have any spare time. But two shots of the ice lance will kill him. So, hold on. I really need to concentrate on getting by this this guy. So, here are the attacks of what it'll do. The pink one, it'll shoot these arcing fireballs. Sometimes it'll shoot two in a row and it gets really hectic. The white one, it shoots these arcing shots, which could be a little tricky and can catch you off guard. But the green one only fires these spears. Just don't land on them. I at least know the weakness to the green one, the green head. It's weak to the ice lance, but I don't know the weakness to the... Uh, the pink or the white ones. Odds would say the pink one is weak to either the ice lance or the shock wave, but I can't really be sure. As for the white one, I can't really think of any logical answer. But this is the Freds of 32 signing out, and I hope you're enjoying this so far. Yeah, double save just in case.